you run, come here, you run, tell the no child. Huh? The no, tell, then they tell the neuron how to combine with the neuron. Neuron says, I cannot uh, stay on the bus. They tell there is a fiber protective. They, 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 they make all the things easy. Neuron stabilize them. And then they, the neuron tell, uh, is, does not know how to connect, how to communicate, say hello, how are you. They, they, these are the teachers. But when the neurons become big, uh, neuron is very high and these are just the workers. Actually, these are workers. Huh? So they help the neurons in performing the activity, connected. If the neurons are not connecting, how the brain will be single? I mean, separate. They connect all the neurons with each other. And uh, basically, this is a function. And also, insulate, like myelination, and support metabolism. They do metabolism, give energy to the Sacrifice, huh? it's very good, good friends. So, they are the brain cells, second type of brain cells, many types. And the name of the green cell drive brief glue, glue means they, they but actually, they do not stick. But whoever is a scientist who a little sticking, not too much. Glue means adhesion, but their function is not combining, supporting. So, anyways, I wrote means that let's say, might not be fully cut, okay? It might not fully. But anyways, at your level, you can say glue. Okay, glial cells, about 90% of all CNS cells, they support neuron both physically and You remember in the first year I, I told you what are the meanings of physically and metabolically? Physically they combine, and metabolically they produce curve cycle and all, give it up. Very good friends. Sacrifice it, friends. Okay, the insulate. Uh -huh. If they do not insulate, the myelinated nerve fibers cannot be formed. And how I move the hands, uh, saltatory conduction, because that fat myelin is actually the, uh, these uh, cells, uh, glial cells. So that means? Uh, this is the neuron. This is the neuron. Uh, and when the myelin comes here, this myelin is also a type of glial cell. It's a glial cell. This is neuron, but. And this is the reason it comes here and jump in on it. Yeah. So in the myelin, the fact this is a type of uh, So they the guy jump. I told you, young you learn how to talk, how to walk, how to, and they are very important in health and growth. In medicine, there are many diseases, a large number of diseases. They occur due to scar formation, gliosis. You will talk. We will talk. Uh, but we will not have much more. Disease. Inshallah, in the next year. Insulin means uh, uh, <coughs> this myelin sheet is insulated. Otherwise, neuron does not have any insulation. See, there is no. This is unmyelinated. This myelin insulates. It gives insulation means electricity cannot pass through it. It is bad. But what is this? This is glial. This is a part of glial. So glial are very important. Did you get it? How we say myelinated and non-myelinated? Because these types of the glial cells, they come up. Sometimes they wrap the neuron. They, they secure, support. So we will talk. Okay, we go quickly because uh, it's not very technical lecture. The first lecture was communication was very technical lecture. But this is just knowledge. I mean, uh, you have to remember things. Uh, in this lecture, even uh, we should go very quickly because uh, there's nothing. Just a function of glial cells. That's it. So. Astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglia, I mean, we will discuss this in the, in the other slides. Maybe in 10 minutes we will finish. It's not difficult. Now, glia and neuron combine with each other and they secrete the neurotransmitters. Glio neurotransmitters. Huh? So, the interaction between glia and neuron, glio Neuron, neurotransmitter released by nerve can be on the glial cell. Simple sentences. Okay, you tell me if there is some difficulty, for example. Neuro neurotransmitter can initiate calcium entry. You remember? Calcium can go depolarization, calcium goes. Yeah, calcium entry to histocytes and changes in the brain. Potential can be transmitted along the group. <coughs> Don't worry. We are talking first about the histocytes and the things. Then you will know it. Because in the next uh, slide, uh, you will know what are the issues. Now, see, GP, I added this, it is not in your slides, because this abbreviation, G, GQ, 
GPCR. What it is? It is G protein coupled receptors. Okay. And what is GQ? The scientist who discovered he just put the GQ without G protein Q. There's no reason. It's very strange. He was using Q1, Q2, Q R, this, that, but he did not get any of the Q. We put it Q. Huh? You study this uh, paper. I studied this paper. Uh, the first half is uh, uh, 2008. I read it tonight, uh, and uh, he told that there was no any uh, word specific meaning. Q does not have any meaning. You can say G, G protein. GQ means G protein. Okay. So calcium is involved. Strong evidence. And due to calcium, the neurotransmitters are formed and released. Okay. When calcium enters into the cell. They uh, the release of the neurotransmitter. And that is calcium dependent. It means it is calcium dependent. The release of the gliotransmitter. What is gliotransmitter? When the nerve and the glia combine, interact with each other, and calcium enters into the cell, and calcium related, calcium uh, uh, I mean dependent, some neurotransmitters are released. These are called as gliotransmitters. <coughs> glia and neuron, they combine with each other. Because they are combined. They attack the neuron, but they, this combination has many functions, but one other function is that after the combination of glia and neuron, calcium enters into the cells. See, the calcium is entering into the glial cells, and when the uh, calcium enters into the cell, in, 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 Influence of calcium are uh, uh, calcium dependent neurotransmitters are formed. Calcium is very important, guy. When it enters it, it orders many people do this, combine this, where are these things, where are those things, and where is the uh, bring all the neurotransmitters. You remember transfer RNA, what transfer RNA works? Brings, uh, brings uh, all the cells, wherever is the minus, because he has to make protein. And you will break any broken piece, take the new one. Similarly, they bring all those structures and make a new transfer. I think this is simple, don't worry. It's simple and uh, we will explain more. So, again, the same problem here, uh, neural structure. <laughs> it's a uh, repetition. It's repetition. Now, glial transmitter may be ATP, glutamate, and uh, neural modulus that influence it. They affect the adjacent synapses. You know, these neurotransmitters are very important. And you know, some are excited, you know, some are inhibitory. So they will definitely additionally influence synapses. One is the already presynaptic vesicles. Neurotransmitters are influenced. But these are regulatory transmitters additionally influence the synapses. Because it is need of those to be influenced from glial. So a very complicated system. Because we are just talking a little. But in Depths, there are many other factors. If you go into depths, there are many other. Why these are needed? Why the presynaptic transmitter is not enough? Why they come? You know, there are many questions. But we will not really solve. They they modulate. They are called as modulators. If I leave any slide, let me know. Now, glial cells and the metabolism of the uh, You know, they do the metabolism, and they when the energy is formed, they give to you. Okay, so they have after the leaves of synapse, is astrocyte. I will tell you what is astrocyte, okay? It is coming. These are the type of glial cells which convert it into glutamine. Glutam glutamic acid is converted into glutamine, uh, which is recycled by the nerve ending, and this is the way of metabolism. Metabolism has many ways, and you, you know, particularly in the brain, there are many other metabolic pathways. Like GABA, shunt, it is not the body. You have like a lysis, calcite, but GABA shunt is not. Similarly, some other metabolic processes. So, the glia is very important in producing energy to help the neurons. Is it clear this way? Give them uh, calcium to do the its function? No, that's another thing. They, they perform metabolism. Yes. I mean, they are workers. They do job. I mean, on bad. And the nerve cell is the boss sitting, and they need to eat something. And these are the workers who please they have a cup of coffee. Have this. So they do all those energy. So they're very good friends, workers and friends. You understand? So they produce 
neurons do not do much metabolism. And the reason, this is the reason that they do not have many mitochondria. The glial cells have many mitochondria. So they have been made for this purpose, to do the labor work. Initially they are boss. They teach the neuron how to walk in, but later time. Ultimately they are workers. Okay? The neurons are the, I mean, big bosses in the brain, even in the whole world. Okay, this page is gone. And uh, now, actually, uh, uh, due to some reason I put it at the end, otherwise it had to be before. But some of the terminologies were very important to understand this. Now, these are the types of the glial cells. Astro, astro means star-like. The shape of these glial cells is star-like. See the figure, picture? Can you see the, this, these uh, uh, glial cells? See this? See this one, this one, these are star-like, you know, uh, structure like this, star-like. Yeah, can you see that? Yes. So they are star-like structures. I think it's written, most abundant, versatile, highly branched, uh, owing to their name, to their irregular, roughly star-shaped bodies, and numerous vias, we say, is to say. They cling to neurons, at, I mean, the attached, being attached to neurons, and their synaptic endings, and cover the capillaries. These are their functions. They cover the capillaries. They what is their function? Why they cling with the neurons? Many functions: storing, supporting, metabolism, my myelinating, many functions. But we will have more on the other. Yes. Sir. Sorry. Where are you? First line. Which line? Which line? Number? The most important. Oh, versatile means they are present everywhere. Versatile means the people are found everywhere in the brain and the spine. Part. Versatile. There is no any type of the glial cell so many like the astrocytes because they are needed everywhere. Other types are not very frequent. They uh, you say found in Qatir. What you say Qatir? Abundance. You say Qatir? I say Qatir. But you say Qatir. Okay, I guess. Qatir. Okay? So abundance, versatile. Anywhere you go, you say hello, how are you? Uh, actually, you understand? So versatile. So highly. But, so glial cell that is found, it means it has much more function than others. Because it's found everywhere. MashaAllah, good question. Uh, it is a English word, versatile means uh, found everywhere. So functions. Support. And brace the neurons. This word is not written in your notes. Brace means uh, they come connect firmly, tightly, fasten tightly. Okay, you can write. Uh, I think it's simple word. They support and brace the neurons. They anchor neuron to their nutrients. Anchor means like this. Anchor the neuron to different nutrients to take the nutrients. Anchor. And the third is guide migration of young neurons. You know, I taught, taught, taught. These are the teachers. They tell, oh child, come come on, I will tell you. They migrate the neurons. This place is not good for you. It's many other substances, not for the growth of neurons. But come here, this is good, because neuron does not. So these are the very experienced people. So, uh, by migrating, uh, sometimes neurons change their residence. You understand? If it is the environment is not good. So control the chemical environment by buffering the potassium. Uh, potassium and recapturing neurotransmitter. You know, in the brain, if the pH changes, it is buffered. You know that. Okay, buffering of, I mean, many substances. And uh, these astrocytes help doing that through the neurotransmitters that are made by it. And the believed to have an essential part of the blood brain barrier. This is, uh, we don't know yet. But people say that, uh, you know, anything that has to go to brain, it goes through blood. But when it goes to the brain, there is a barrier. The doors are closed. And they knock and they say, who you are? Okay, come. Who you are? No, you cannot come. So blood, brain, barrier. So everything cannot come into the brain. And otherwise, brain, it will be dangerous for the brain. Brain needs only the boss, bosses. Boss people are living. They don't need that uh, people should make them labor. No. Only the things ready, energy, this, that. And it's not that toxic. If drug is toxic, it cannot cross from blood to brain. So we get safety of getting neuronal disorder. So you got it? 
So blood brain barrier, we, still, we are not sure, but uh, one of the functions uh, relates to that. So uh, the role in certain of development and reach. This is very important function. Very important. Brain and spinal cord cannot grow nicely if they the deficient with the glial cell. Main reason is if they, who connects the neuron with each other. Neuron will get injuries. Huh? Neuron will be degenerated. Injuries and degeneration and deaths. If they, I mean, how neuron can live without connecting with the others? If neuron are connected, they will go, go like this. Huh? And if connected is disconnected, neuron can go anywhere with forcefully. You know, and injury and degeneration. So these are very important part of the glial limiting, uh, limiting membrane, protect the function as I told you. And this is very important. I told you before, gliosis and scar formation. Now, sometimes gliosis occurs, but I tell you gliosis is not bad. It's a disorder, but sometimes it's fire also. I mean, when the growth occurs, sometimes such type of growth is helpful for the functions, okay? And scar formation also sometimes occurs. So I wrote for you, this is not included, just to clarify this sentence that gliosis is a non-specific reactive change of the glial cells in response to damage uh, uh, to the central nervous system. Not the peripheral nervous system, central nervous system, okay? And uh, gliosis has been shown to have both beneficial and bad effects, okay? Gliosis is the accumulation of the Growth, I mean, after injury, see, if injury occurs, how oh, it will be recovered? Yes, gliosis will occur, but this one day cell will become perfect. So it is good in this way. Yes. But meanwhile, activities will be hindered. Who will be, maybe the activities are 80%, 20% less activities. During that period, noksan. But at the end, fire up. So these things happen, uh, I, I think this relate to health, to recover the health. Some of them are abnormal growths. This is not abnormal growth. Actually, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, to recover. You can say a type of healing. You understand the meanings of healing? Yes. Healing. So the full recovery occurs, and sometimes this gliosis is important. So the last sentence, gliosis is shown to have both beneficial, beneficial means five, mofid, and the detrimental means noxan. But nuksan is a little bit, sometimes we, if we have to get a huge fida, uh, we get some nuksan, you know, body. Uh, inflammation occurs. Inflammation is a bad thing, but it is good. Because after, after at the end, inflammation occurs, the, our system becomes active. What happened? People come, phagocytes, that inflammation is finished. The things in our body become drugs. And the treatment occurs. How treatment will occur if the inflammation does not? So inflammation is a sign for the people the, the experts in the body to think about it, what has happened to how to cure it. Similarly, if you do not get fever sometimes, <laughs> how the body will manage all the things. So fever is sometimes manifestation that it is not going in normal. So your body becomes active. They are sleeping sometimes. <laughs> Some people are sleeping. Oh, no, they are activated. You know? The virus sometimes comes. One time we are very worried. But the, he, he brings some very bad effects. But our body gets many meetings and they decide, okay, enemy, this type of enemy is dangerous. Hold to, they take, cut their pieces because, for example, if they kill that virus, but they say, they announce, people, next time if this virus comes in many uh, large qatir, uh, we will not be able to uh, manage it. Okay, then they, they do research and they manage and they do uh, committees and meetings and then they, next time it comes, they have now immune system because they thought about it. They discuss, they got the news, I mean, eating, eating by those pieces of the, oh, they were unconscious, but later they became okay. Oh, they informed the boss, the, they did not die, some of them are alive, good news, because the people who are alive, they will tell us how to manage in future. This was uh, discovered by posture, posture also got Nobel Prize, uh, big science. You know that? Posture, Louis Posture, French, uh, who, who discovered the immunization, immune process, all the vaccination, who discovered that he was the first person to discover. So this, these things are, I think I should not go more detail. Uh, you do not have time to do. Uh, I don't like to disturb you. Astrocyte topic is finished. Now another one is oligodendrocyte. This is. Okay, okay. No, no, maybe you are talking something nice. 
Let's continue after the lecture, right? No, no, it's good. Yeah, it's good because my thoughts hit me, mashallah. Uh, a legal tender side. This, these are the real who, who insulate. You remember violin sheep? Mm -hmm. These are big guys. They, their main function is to make it. Uh, I think you are right because someone, uh, what is the difference between myelin and uh, myelin? What is myelin? How it is clear uh, uh, sound. So see, oligos means little. They are not too many. They are not uh, uh, present everywhere. Huh? Oh, they are less in number. They are these neuroglial cells with small cell bodies and few short cell processes. They wrap the center. Wrap means cover. One thing is support, the second thing is myelination. Okay? And, and the myelinating cell. They are for responsible for maintaining high speed. Oh, high speed of conduction means they are involved in making cell deadly conduction. Okay? So this lecture is not very difficult. The previous one was technical. This is only to understand and have some knowledge. Did you get this point or not? Yes. Now the third. Now one by one we will finish soon. Appendiamon cells. Now these are simple epi and ciliated epithelium. You know cilia? Yes. Ciliated epithelium. These are cuboidal or columnar. They make column or tubes. And that, see the picture that lines the center canal, the brain and spinal cord. Okay? Why they line the brain and spine cord? Because in the brain, but particularly ventricles, they are involved in making the cerebral spinal fluid. So they are very important. Don't think that the glial cells are much important. They make, and they direct the flow of the cerebral spinal fluid, and they are covered in microbial light, and they have central cluster of long cells. So all these functions are to make and circulate. Actually, uh, about making the, uh, the uh, cerebral spinal cord, uh, sorry, uh, fluid, it's not uh, fully known. But actually, they make. This is the reason I didn't uh, mention that. Make. This circulate. I would like to get the uh, remote uh, Please give that. Uh, please come. Children, uh, give the remote system. Uh, 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 we should check it. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, a remote mass and a tiny mass and a tiny. G5. Which one? G5. 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 These are very important. They cover the where the CSF is uh, uh, cerebral spinal fluid made in ventricles, and through ventricles. In first year, I told you from the roof, there are capillaries. They are clean, and the clean CSF is formed. This we call cerebral spinal fluid. But actually, who circulates it? And uh, I mean, too fast from one ventricle to other to other, and it also goes to spinal cord. This is uh, these cells, epidermal cells. And uh, they, they, they make the central canal of the brain and spinal cord. Both cubicle and column. They, they can make columns, they can make columns. But they have ciliated. Ciliated epithelium. Both forms are possible. I mean, in, in certain areas, cubicle are needed. Now, your question will be why cubicle, where cubicle are needed, where column are needed. Histophysiology. I mean, histology is very interesting science. And histophysiology, we should have gone to but uh, we can prove that which areas are related. I mean, only those uh, provided should be there and where. So keep it up till here, and you can stay more. After that, uh, simple, simple. They are simple, not that simple. I mean, not layers. Simple, simple, ciliated everything. Ciliated, you understand? Yes. Okay. So um, this page is gone. Yes. Okay. This is simple. Uh, there is no uh, many theory like the last lecture. Uh, functions of these cells. I think we did not study functions. I think there are some functions, but uh, uh, maybe uh, it's continuous. Sorry. Now, this is very important. When fetus is made, little child, after zygote, uh, fertilization, after a few weeks it becomes a fetus, right? Now, fetus, uh, um, the fetal element dima is uh, reported to play a important role in C very important role in the development of brain, brain and spinal cord. 
We are not talking about the price of the system. And they provide progenitor. What is being progenitor cells? Original stem cells. Very original cells. Uh, with the structural trophic. Trophic means controlling. And uh, the metabolic support. Metabolic means ener energy. Curb cycle. They provide energy. And the transport of the nutrient before the development. I mean, how the development will occur if the nutrients are not supported? So this uh, the transport of nutrients before the development. So imagine, even with the, the recent time, uh, the, the story is coming that uh, not only the WBC are involved too much. You know the immunophysiology. Do you have an immunology course also? Yes. yes. Uh, I should also be there. It's very related to our neuroscience because uh, opposite to neuroscience, another system is going on that immune system. So if we say immunophysiology, I don't know you use it or not, you say immunology. But interesting thing in the immune system that uh, uh, they, they, they are involved and the immune system is actually uh, in combination with the uh, neural system. So this immune system is mainly, people say, such a related to glial system. So in future, maybe immunology will be in the brain science, my science, my area, you know? Up till now, most of the studies you study WBC in the blood, immune system, no, 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 the actual source is clear. And even some of my colleagues are studying, yes, in Toronto, yes, in Toronto many people are studying immunophysiology, immunology, totally uh, uh, clear stuff. So keep in your mind in future, if you like to study the immunology, brain is still uh, in the coming times, these stuff are very important. So these are important in, in the development, uh, quite involved. And uh, in adult, they help circulate the CSF as we know, regulate the transporter. I think this is repetition. And the water between CSF and neuropil. Now what is neuropil? It is not mentioned in your note. Now see, you can take it from website, but you can photo it. Neuropil or neuropile is uh, any area in the nervous system of the person, mostly unmyelinated exons. Which exons? Unmyelinated dendrites or exons, the gray cell. The, the processes that form a synaptically dense region containing relatively low number of the cell bodies. They are the fibers, not the cell bodies, but, but they are the unmyelinated. Okay? So they, they influence the nerve cells. It means neuropil are actually the uh, the dendrites, the exons, uh, glial cells, all together. So, they, they tell them, this is another function of adults. And uh, microglia, this is another glia. And they are, now you are coming toward blood. You know, slowly, slowly we are going toward phagos, phagos and also. But in future, you will study that, you will come to conclusion that man regulation is in the brain. Glial cells. Huh? Gliology, right? Glial cells. Uh, glio, so, uh, microglia, small or white cells with spiny, you know spiny? Yes. Huh? The cow has spine. So, spiny from blood derived monocytes. So, now we are coming to blood. Blood, see, it means brain and blood, very close people, good friends. Blood derived monocytes move into the brain during the very early development of the embryo. See that? Very interesting information. And then differentiate into microglia. Another type, and this is clear. And share many surface markers. They have antigen, you know, uh, with uh, their blood bone, I mean, uh, microfilm. Account 20%. They are not abundant. I mean, 20% of the whole population. Now, the functions are first and main form of the active. I was talking about immune system. They are the most important in future. But I'm talking about center of Right? That's very important. And antigen presentation, phagocytosis, cytosis. See, these are the topic of immunology, and we are talking the neuroscience. Schwann's house stories coming toward your what is what your question? The how myelinated? I mean, maybe there was some curiosity and confusion. How myelin can be glial cell? How myelin can you see that? Schwann's house. The Schwann's are a two type principal glia of the central nervous system. See, the central nervous system glia and formation of myelin sheet. See, they work in the CNS and PNS box. What is PNS? In CNS, they are the glia of the, uh, I mean, they connect to the central nervous system. And in PNS, in the body, they make the imagination. See that? Have phagocytic activity also. Oh, oh, oh. so diverse function. 
Maybe they are the cousins of the blood. No? Okay, so have uh, blood cells. So have phagocytic activity and clear cellular debris. You know debris? Yes, yes. From pieces and allows for the regrowth of PNS. Now they are very important. If some injury occurs in the PNS, uh, these are the very good people there, there because they are uh, madbut in immune system. They provide immune support and metabolism, many things, and the injury is gone. See that? A regrowth of PNS after nerve dissection. So they're both breaking down. So they are very important. I think we are going to finish soon. Uh, Schwann cells. Oh, there are two main Schwann cells in PNS. What is PNS? Peripheral. I'm not talking about Myelinated Schwann cells. Schwann cells are two. One myelinate and one do not myelinate. Schwann cells myelinating and surrounding large vessels. Non myelinated Schwann cells. In this situation, no myelin sheath is there and grow smaller exons in ventilation to the surface. But they have another function. They form the bundles of unmyelinated exons known as. Remag bundles, remag bundles. They collectively do that. I think their function is uh, given onwards. You see the figures also. And myelin formation begins at 16 months of the child. Uh, I mean, you try, you try life. What, what age? No, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. 16 months. Oh, can you say 16 months. Uh, 16 months. <laughs> uh, good, good. Yeah, very attentive. Question. So, 16 weeks. The growth of these intrauterine life has been stored, most rapid during the first two years of life. Okay, so myelin uh, formation is a set, set, I mean, related to this, and then uh, almost finished. Don't uh, 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 worry, almost finished. Uh, just think. Okay. Central myelination. What it means? Oligodendrocytes coat exon. When we use the central arm, it means central nervous we talked about the peripheral nervous system violation, we did not talk about the central. So, central, the oligodendrocyte coat the exon and the central system, and see the cell membrane forming myelin sheet. That insulated exon is essential for, for, for synthetic induction, and defects in this system occurs in demyelinated diseases. See, multiple. Nowadays, uh, we, I work with multiple sclerosis in rural hospitals, the one too. He's the chairman. So, when you would like to do, you are in third year. You can do any, if anybody has interest, uh, can do it. We work in my, uh, my area is epilepsy and stroke and other things, but uh, addition, additionally, uh, uh, the those area is uh, multiple sclerosis, MS, multiple sclerosis. So it's a degenerative disorder. When myelin is gone, the disease occurs, what is called as multiple sclerosis. So we are trying to know what it is, and if any of you like to do work, uh, you think, right? Okay, and uh, Shama, you are back. <laughs> there were many people in the lion washroom. Okay, so central myelination in C. Sometimes myelin, single myelin covers many connecting cells. See that? Not only one cell. I mean, see that? The, in contrast to the myelin of the peripheral nervous system, one oligodendrocyte, we are talking about central nervous system, one oligodendrocyte can provide myelin sheet for several exons in the central nervous system. This is not PNS, CNS. So this is very interesting. There will be many functions. There will be many reasons. We don't go in that detail, but uh, peripheral myelination in PNS, some of the things are in repetition. Then we don't see that. We don't like to see that. Okay. In peripheral nervous system, Schwann cell provides the myelin sheet. It's repetition. Almost myelin formed by Schwann cell wrapping itself around the exon. They are there for many layers of cell membrane of the exon. Yeah, and, and the scientific induction occurs. I mean, this is simple, this is repetition. When it will finish, how many slides are there? If I do not. Now, uh, should I connect? Uh, for, uh, I think uh, I need to connect. Uh, just quickly. I don't know. I will not take that, please. Because this is important. Because uh, almost uh, just uh, a little bit. There's no any difficult thing remaining. But still, uh, this guy, you know. It's not my computer. Oh, there, there is the one. This one? Yes. There's no problem. I'm sorry, you took much time. But I'm happy also that we will finish.
Okay. Clinical significance now a little bit uh, medicine. Uh, we are lost may contribute to impair learning in memory. Last time we said that uh, um, the uh, dementia may occur. Huh? So uh, learning, we cannot remember long term memory, all those. Therefore, therapeutic approaches to combat human uh, uh, neurodegenerative diseases thus need like multiple sclerosis, the uh, function of the both neurons. Glia is important. You cannot say the only neuron is important. So while glia and PNS frequently assist in regeneration of loss to the function, loss of neurons in central nervous system does not result in similar reaction from neuroglia. So central nervous system is mabut. It's a bit different from the PNS. Uh, the neuroglia in the disease is more involved in PNS. And um, if the synapse and regrowth may only happen if the trauma was mild and not severe. When the severe trauma presents itself, now disease starts. Okay? And the survival of remaining neuron becomes the optimal solution. I mean, still they struggle. The situation is not normal, but after some time, everything becomes okay. In the body, it happens sometimes. Stressful conditions. In addition to neurodegenerative diseases, there are a wide range of hormones exposure, such as hypoxia. I told you oxygen is very, very important. Our physical trauma can damage the central nervous system. Okay? Definitely, these glia are involved in that. But we do not go into it. Generally, when damage occurs in the central cell, glia cells cause apoptosis. What it is? Death of the cells. Program death. Cell die. No problem. Because the cells are working. It's better to get rid of the cells totally. If the injured uh, and diseased cells are there, they will create a uh, problem and also huge money. I mean, financially, you understand? Mm, yes. For the body to manage to get rid. This is a very good process. Then there is a large amount of microbial activity uh, which result in, in. See, inflammation. Very good. And inflammation is a sign that there is something bad. So, recovery of this. Repair. Finally, there is a heavy release of the growth inhibiting molecule and growth occurs after in response to inflammation. Glia play more sophisticated uh, neuron-like role. Oh, 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 oh. Very important, I mean very near to neuron. They integrate neural input, modulate synaptic activity, and process the serial related learning memory, signified learning. This is a general. I mean in the um, multiple cross and other metabolic degenerative diseases, uh, Parkinsonism and uh, such other diseases. It's very important. And dementia. So, um, clinical symptoms, astrocytes accumulation of protein in the many tar related neurodegenerative. This is a protein. So, such type of these, so oligodendrocytes, multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is much related to oligodendrocytes. Accumulation of tar proteins after N is one time, is two times, in many tar related neurodegenerative diseases, viral inclusion. Epidyma, epidyma is related to viral inclusion. I mean, this is very important. This, is it some difficult? It's very easy. The, the, the epididyma? It, it is much related to when viral infection occurs, it is uh, very important for, for combating the viruses. So, I mean, the glial cells are connective tissue, but they have many functions. We are not going in detail, actually. So, this is reason. You can see in the website. Summary. Finish. Summary means, number one, Neuroglial cells not only serve as connective tissue, but they support metabolism, inflammation, function, and pathophysiology. Glial cells affect the function of the present, present discussion explains the morphological features, physiological aspects of glial cells in the central nervous system, physiology and pathology. But really, we did not go in detail. Uh, and, uh, objectives are simple types of the glia and the different function of different types, that's it. So tell me, leaders, I was a little fast in this lecture.